Hey guys, welcome to another item ink production. My name is Tech009 and today we're going to show you how to replace the IBT belt assembly on a Xerox Work Center 7525 through 7556, 7830 through 7855. I have included the part number and links on the description below. You might have to change your transfer belt if you're getting any of these following errors. Hey guys, don't forget before we start doing any work on any machine, do not forget to power off and disconnect from the back. All right, guys, let's begin by opening the front door. Now we're going to start by removing the IBT belt cleaner assembly. First, you want to turn the lever of the IBT belt cleaner assembly clockwise. Then turn the knob counterclockwise until it is free. Pull the IBT cleaner assembly towards the front to remove. Now we're going to be removing the IBT belt assembly tension lever. Make sure it's in the unlock position and the screw should be in the inside of the lever. Now we're going to turn the machine to the left side. Uh, you're going to open up the left door. All right, guys, for convenience and also so you can see well, let's start removing the fuser. Just the two screws, one on the right and one on the left. Left hand door, we're going to remove the left hand door support strap. All you're going to do is just pull the C-clip off and pull the strap off. Now we are removing the right door stopper. Push the door up and rotate 90 degrees and pull out. Now we're removing the IBT frame lock brackets. There are two lock brackets. Pay attention to the orientation of the lock brackets. Now you will pull the gray stopper lever latch on the left side of the belt. Finally, you can begin to slide the IBT belt out by the two plastic brackets and continue with the handles. Lift the IBT belt up if you have to. Now let's install the new IBT belt assembly. Slide the front on the plastic rails. You might have to pick up the back of the belt a little bit. Push the belt all the way to the back until you feel it's locked in position. Push in the stop lever lock to secure the belt in place. Now let's install the IBT frame lock brackets. Make sure they are locked in place properly. Here's a video of a close up in case you need more reference. Now let's install the right door stopper. Lift the door a little bit, then rotate the stopper 90 degrees and insert into the slot. Now insert the left hand support strap. Just insert the strap into the metal bracket and install the C-clip back in place. Now let's install the fuser back in place. Uh, two screws, one on the left and one on the right. Tighten those up. Now we can close the left cover assembly. Okay, let's put back the IBT belt tension lever. It should be on the unlock position. The screw goes in the middle, then lock it in place. Now insert the belt cleaner in place. Screw it first, then bring down the latch. Now all you have to do is close the front door and you're done, guys. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends, your neighbors, your pet. Give us a call or visit us on our website.